Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. And Tom is in the Plattsburgh Weather Center this evening. Snow is on the way. Yeah, we've got an interesting scenario coming up for the weekend. I mean, I, I know we've got snow on the weather map right now. Nothing significant. You know, we've got a few snowflakes around. You probably saw some in the stories we just showed you. But this is going to wind down tonight. Over the weekend, bit of a question mark. And I know we said this 24 hours ago. I will show you why we're thinking this at this point in just a minute. Well, we do have some snow on the weather map right along the northern tier and uh, a lot of the Adirondacks right now. We're expecting a little bit in the way of accumulation in the mountains, maybe a couple of inches. That should about do it. We're seeing some action also in the lower green mountains as you get into Rutland County, down into Bennington County, and even a little bit in the Connecticut River Valley. This little system is going to blow through. High pressure settles in, which means we've got a pretty decent day on the way for tomorrow. But in the meantime, I got to take you to to the Adirondacks where the snow is coming down a little bit. This is the camera from the Wild Center in Lake Placid. 27 degrees. We've got a west southwest wind right now at 14 miles an hour. So a little bit cooler in the Adirondacks. There's that 27, but 38 degrees right now. Burlington doing a 37, Lebanon, Springfield right now, 36 degrees. So let's give you some weather headlines. The snow is going to come to an end tonight. We've got a decent day on the way for tomorrow. It's a mix of sun and clouds, but we are watching a weekend storm. There is going to be a storm. The question is, how much will it affect us? And let me show you what drives a weather geek crazy. All right, we're going to take you to Friday evening. We've got a lot of action in happening in the South east here. Watch the way this storm system it pulls to the north. I'm going to show you two scenarios here and they're very different. This is the European model saying yeah pretty close to the coast. If this does verify if this is the way it goes we end up with a bunch of snow around here especially to the east of the Champlain Valley. The cutoff should be pretty close to the valley if this does verify. But the American model says mm, not so quick because this one is farther out to sea. If this happens we have just so much less in the way of an impact where we are. So we'll continue to watch this for you. We have seen over the past, if you look at any long-term duration here, European model has been good over time. So we'll see if we do end up with a bunch of snow. Let's come on back to tomorrow. Temperatures in the 40s. We've got a mix of sun and clouds. Going to be a nice little day. We'll take you right through the overnight. This is your Thursday. We've got a few more clouds up to the north. I think the farther south you are tomorrow, the brighter the day is going to be. So first First alert weather for tonight. I think we will find some snow showers around a little bit, even in the valley here. Temperatures not far from 30 degrees, but a lot of 20s on the map. And then for tomorrow goes like this. It is going to be a partly sunny day. Temperatures in the 40s, mid 40s to the north. Some of us maybe just a few degrees warmer than that as you come on down to the south. Five day forecast 44 tomorrow, 45 Friday. I think certainly more clouds than sun. In fact, mostly cloudy, and maybe a few spot showers. We've got that question mark for Saturday. Some semblance of a winter mix is going to be close. We will continue to monitor, of course. That system should be pulling away on Sunday, so some snow showers around. Monday at this point looks relatively quiet. We're in the 30s here, not only then, but Tuesday, and then next Wednesday and Thursday, snow showers with those highs again in the 30s.